What is going on guys, bman27 here and welcome back to another video. Now what I'm going to be kind of talking about is I'm going to be talking about why I think that I will like Revelations when it comes out for PC. Now I only have PC, I don't have a PS4. So, uh, rip, I have to wait an extra month for DLCs, but it's whatever. Um, so I have like the whole month to kind of watch videos and stuff on how to play before it actually comes out. I don't know. It kind of sucks. I Well, I'd, it does a lot suck. But anyways, whatever. So let's first start off with the things that Revelations did right. So when I came home from school the day the Revelations actually came out, um, I came home and I just decided to watch The Smith Plays' first, like, full first playthrough. I thought it was kind of lame that you could just get the Mara Saga from the box. And, like, same with the DG4s, like, you didn't have to go out and build it. But then, like, later I realized that, well, if they would have done that, there would have been way too much to do in this map. And it would have just been, like, another Zetsubo no Shima, which they can't do. Because, like, like they had to take advice from the community about Zetsubo and even Shadows of Evil. Shadows of Evil was not as bad as Zetsubo no Shima. Like, they knew that they couldn't make their last map for three years. Or maybe even ever, just liked, because, like, the zombie storyline just couldn't end on a bad note, or, like, on a bad map, or else it would be tarnished. That's why, like, they basically went with a theme that they knew everyone would like, which is basically just bringing up a bunch of old maps, putting them together, f like, four floating, floating islands again, like, the house thing, all this other crap. The Mars Dog with DG4, Pack-a-Punch. The only hard thing they really have to do is masks, which isn't even that difficult if you're going for an easy one. If you're going for, like, the Shadow Man masks, then yeah, that's pretty difficult. But for you to even go for the Shadow Man mask, you already have to be, like, pretty set up anyways. So it's just another step if you want to take to do even better. Another reason why I think I'm going to like Revelations is because it kind of reminds me of older maps where all you had to do to get set up is just getting good box lock and linking teleporters or doing some other simple step to be able to get to pack punch now in black ops 3 basically you have to do several step quests to get fully set up you gotta do you gotta get the specialist weapon you gotta get pack punch open which is usually a big drag like in shadows of evil it sucks to do that in revelations all you really have to do is get the map open up do like the little ritual things four times which is really easy you don't have to like go into beast mode and get a couple things get the door open and everything in four different areas all you have to do is walk up to the thing pay 500 points stand there kill zombies or like the fury things or whatever the heck for 10 seconds and then you do that four times and you're good besides the ritual things you also got to do the masks and just hit the box like all it really is is box luck opening up the map and doing the masks Another reason why I think I like this map is because it's super easy. Like, I'll be the first one to admit, I am trash at zombies. Like, I suck at zombies. The only reason why I play is because I enjoy playing it, and I really like making YouTube videos of it. Now, I really enjoy easy maps that have multiple strategies. That's why I really like Derizadrak. Uh, like, there's so many different places to camp. You can sit there with the lightning bow. You can use a wolf bow. You can train around, use different bows don't even do bows at all like just all of the different strategies just add so much replayability and also adding on to the replayability and along with Dariza Draco there's just tons of different challenges you can do it just add so much replayability now I don't really do challenges that often but they're great things to do when you get bored like when you're bored playing zombies just do a challenge it just makes it so much more fun. The final point I have is that the map just looks so dang cool. It's just whack and crazy, but also brings plenty of old maps that I wanted to come back for a while. It's a good concoction of old school maps that I've needed to return. The fact that they did it so well, it's just, I'm just so hyped for Revelations to come out for PC and Xbox. One final thing that I wanted to mention is that mod tools are coming relatively soon. I'm so excited for mod tools. Like, they'll just add so much more longevity to zombies community and even my channel like i plan on doing a lot of mod tools when they come out especially because i play on pc and they're pc exclusive console scrubs okay my pc is trash but 
Like, I'd much rather have a console at this point, but, it, like, that's the one good thing about having a PC is mod tools. Anyway, so I plan on doing mod tools on my channel, so kind of be on a lookout for announcements. Not from me, like, I'm not gonna make announcement videos, I mean, I might when it comes out, but that's still gonna be a while. But anyways, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!